Excellent! What's up guys, welcome back to Paul's Hardware. Today's video is going to be a quick review and a quick build in this new case from Fractal Design, the Define Mini C. This is a micro ATX case, and at first glance you might think, well that looks exactly like the Define S or the Define R5. So exterior, yeah, you, you probably get that, but interior Fractal has done some updates, they've made some changes that I actually really like. Uh, they've included like a shroud now for the power supply and that kind of thing and this case at least in this size is going to be selling for 79.99 us dollars for the windowed version here and there's also a non-windowed version that has sound dampening material as this entire case does throughout that's coming in at 74.99 but you might have noticed that I already built a system in here, so why don't we jump back to last night for a quick rundown of the new features. So I took a first look at the Define Mini C and I thought, wow, it's a Define uh, S or a Define R5, just a uh, micro ATX version, which would be pretty cool in and of itself, but uh, there's actually some updates that they've done that uh, are quite nice. I have to take the side panels off to see that first though. Um, but just to round out features, steel construction, plexi side panel, uh, two USB 3.0 on the front, mic and headphone, uh, plastic faux brushed uh, aluminum cover right up there in the front, and uh, I've already loosened these thumb screws. Captured thumb screws, by the way. Uh, a Modjuvent panel on the top that you can pop off if you want to add uh, like a, an exhaust there or radiator support. It can support a 240 millimeter rad up front. Does come with a sorry, kind of blown out magnetic dust filter that you can pop on up there, which means. You have dust filters for pretty much everywhere. Top, front, there's a removable one I'll show you in a sec, as well as the bottom one that you can pop off down here, if I can get a hold of it, like so, voila, and that covers the entire bottom of the case going all the way back to the power supply. Finally on the outside, uh, there's a removable panel here for the power supply, or like a power supply bracket you can remove with thumb screws so you can flip it if you want. Let's pull off the... Well, that's not good. Don't worry, it survived. Okay. So one of the biggest changes here is probably going to be this lovely uh, bottom area here that's kind of blocked off a power supply cage or cover, or whatever you might want to call it. There is a little bit of detail there in the Fractal logo that's etched, etched into the side, and there is some ventilation on top of that too, uh, which is pretty nice. It does mean that you could put your power supply fan up, I guess, if you really wanted to, um, if the airflow worked out. Other than that, a pretty standard layout interior for a micro ATX build. 120 millimeter fan at the back and 120 millimeter fan included at the front. Back does have a little slidey points right there, so you can slide that up and down if you want to. Uh, and then on the front, you actually do have support for a few different radiator types. Uh, actually, what you can do is remove this panel, just this part of this cage, uh, and that's actually really cool that it spans and gives you full access to the front area for mounting a, of radiators or fans. So you might have already noticed grommeted uh, covers for all your pass-throughs for cables. Uh, and then for drive mounts, you have a three SSD mount here, which you can remove. So you have to remove the whole thing to mount the SSDs from the other side with screws, um, but you can't fit three there all next to each other. I don't know if that's gonna cause any like extra heat for since it's gonna be right behind where your CPU would be, but it seems at least like a good use of space. Uh, also lots of cable tie, tie down points back here, and then this sort of channel where most of your cables are gonna run as you bring them up here for like your 24 pin and uh, cables for uh, graphics cards. You do have two drive mounts down here at the very bottom uh, on little cages with the white accents as Fractal is known for, uh, and then uh, you know rubber feet for the power supply mount and that kind of thing. I popped off the front panel so we can get at this last dust filter, which is not meant to be removed with one hand. Oh, hold on. Okay, I got it. Uh, Alright, so that shows the mounting area here at the front, where you can do, it looks like, and again I haven't read the manual or any of the documents, so maybe I'll correct myself later on, but it looks like you can do a 360 or even uh, at least 2 by by 2 by by 140 here, so um, that's, that's a 280. Yeah, it looks like maybe a 360 or a 280 could fit here, because even though at the bottom here you don't really have much intake for 
uh, those, those hard drives, which is actually my one concern about this case, is airflow for the hard drives. Um, you can push that cage over. It is on rails, so you can slide it this way, depending on how large your power supply is over here, and possibly give yourself room to keep that cage there and have like radiators and fans mounted up here at the fronts. If you remove this piece right here, which just has a couple screws right there that you can pop out to remove it. And again, that gives you, I guess, a little bit more airflow from the top to the bottom, as well as again, space right there for vertical stuff like radiators and fans. Although I will point out that when you put fans on this side of uh, this panel, you do lose the ability to use this uh, dust filter. All right, so the system on the left there is my HTPC. It's in a fractal node 805, uh, and I, no, 804, I'm sorry. And I'm going to transfer that system into the Define Mini C uh, for a few reasons. Mainly, I, I wanna clean it, and it's very dusty. Also, I think I should get rid of the uh, stock heat sink fan. Thankfully I was able to clean all of the dust out of the HTPC build that uh, stays on like 24-7 which is why it was so freaking dusty in there. However, I would like to point out that I have a couple uh, items in this system that don't run the fans. For instance, the power supply down here, uh, it's a big overkill I will admit for this system, an RM850i from Corsair. Uh, fan doesn't spin up unless it uses uh, uh, more juice and that fan I don't think was running at all because there was no dust on the filter down there. Uh, also, this Zotac video card won't spin the fan up unless it's being used, so that's cool too. But you know what I haven't actually done yet is turn this, this darn thing on. So I'm gonna remove the side panel here and hope that nothing goes terribly wrong and flip the switch and hit the power button. Can I flip the switch the wrong way? Oh, there it goes. I don't know why I don't know why I had to hit the switch twice. So it works, cool. And honestly, the thing that I can hear the most right now is the mechanical hard drive down there in the bottom, but it is an eight, eight terabyte drive, so I don't think that's going anywhere anytime soon. Other than that, this thing's really quiet. Fans are just now spinning up, of course. I have no idea what's going on in the background and this system is booting into Windows 7 right now. Uh, but let's talk about some of the things I liked about this case. Like the design updates. Uh, for sure, like the shroud down here at the bottom, that gives you a lot more flexibility. With different power supplies you might be able to, to purchase, you can go with a really budget power supply, get 80 plus bronze and get a decent manufacturer, of course, always. And then even if you have ugly cabling down there, you can get some extensions or something to make things look prettier here up top. Speak of things looking pretty, since this is an HTPC, it wasn't really going for the whole aesthetic thing overall but still doesn't look too bad. I did try to keep the cable management as tight as I could and I will say that just like the Define Nano S, the grommet position for these uh, pass-throughs here for the cable management position are really well placed, very easy to get to and I was able to just kind of poke the, the cables out there and plug them in where they were necessary and everything, everything worked out just fine. I also like that Fractal has now given you dust filters for pretty much everywhere on the case, except the exhaust right back here, but that typically wouldn't need a dust filter. It has been lacking the top dust filter, and it's magnetized and everything. You'd want to take it out of the plastic bag before you actually use it, but that will keep uh, dust that, you know, that'll, <laughs> that'll make it much easier, though, to clean off dust that might fall down on top of your case if you remove that Modjuvent top cover and put a radiator or something like that in there. Uh, other than that, what else do I like? Uh, I like the side window, I like the little fractal design etching here. A little bit of branding there, but it doesn't stand out too bad. Uh, and then I like Micro ATX in general. 
And I thought this was a good example of a system to put in this case, simply because I'm taking advantage of some of the expansion that's available. So whereas with the mini ITX build, you could only do like a graphics card. I also have my Seton Infinity V capture card down there, which I use uh, to get over the air, well, not over the air, uh, cable broadcasts, which are all recorded to a terabyte drive. And this has been a very uh, effective HTPC for me for a little while. So I'm happy to continue using it in its present state. now. Now there were a couple cons that I noticed uh, going through the build. One, and this is purely for my purposes of using this as an HTPC, a windowed side panel probably wouldn't have been the best choice. Uh, I probably, if I was really using this for an HTPC build, would have gone for the solid side panel that has a little bit more sound dampening in there. Although again, it's really quiet. Uh, the other thing it's kind of missing, and this is again very specifically for an HTPC, I realized after I put the build together, is I don't have my Blu-ray drive in there anymore. The Node 804 has a, a tucked away little Blu-ray drive thing that's in the front. And I was kind of speculating maybe I could hack the front of this case up somehow and still put that Blu-ray drive in there to get that. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. That's maybe a possibility. The other thing, and this was probably my most legitimate complaint, although I haven't had the chance to test it, is that you've got two drive cages down here right at the front. They're kind of enclosed by that shroud, and there's no direct fan blowing air across them. So if I was really stacking like a couple 3.5 inch drives in there, I would be a little bit concerned. I would want to keep an eye on their temperatures simply because they aren't getting active airflow. And if your power supply is back here, there's really nothing pushing air through there. And then that's also where a lot of the cable management happens. So just try to keep things clear down there, I guess, is what I would be saying, especially if you're using some uh, mechanical drives that might get warm, because mechanical drives can get pretty stinking warm. The last complaint I could think of, and this is really kind of reaching, but um, I was comparing this to like what NVIDIA has been doing with their reference design or Founders Edition graphics cards for a while. They've kind of stuck with a very similar design for them, and, that, and Fractal has been doing the same thing. Now granted, it's served them pretty well, and if you go back from like the Define, uh, like the R4 and R5, up to the Define S and other variations that they've made on it, it's obviously an appealing design because it is Scandinavian minimalism and all that good stuff, but I would say that it'd be nice to see Fractal kind of branch out a little bit, maybe maybe do something a little bit more dangerous or something a little bit more out there. Granted, everyone would probably hate it, but you know, it would at least be something different. Anyway, uh, the good things though are the radiator support. I love that you can fit a 240 in the top as well as up to a 360 in the front or a 280 in the front. I really like that they added that extra panel here. You can re remove from the power supply shroud so you can still access those front areas while still giving you access to uh, the drive bays down there and the ability to shift those so you could even have the drive bays and a radiator. I will say, if you're considering really packing out this lower section down here, get a small power supply. The Silverstone power supply that I used on the uh, my wife's build, the Hotbox build, uh, is very short. It's only 140, 150 millimeters long. And I think that will give you a lot more room down here, especially if you're planning on putting radiators and fans up in the front that will push that cage back. Or if you're not gonna use that cage, You've got three SSD mounts up there at the back too, so you know you could completely go without that cage as well. And I'm imagining that there's going to be people doing water-cooled systems in here, where they remove that panel, put the rads up front, and maybe have like a reservoir sticking up out of there, something like that. Who knows? The possibilities are endless. But guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, this has been the Fractal Design Define Mini C. I'm told this is also going to be available in different sizes, so I recommend going to Kyle's channel as well as the other tech YouTubers because I have a feeling there might be a few other people with videos out on the different variations of this case that Fractal is launching right now just in the time for the holidays at uh, $80 and $75 respectively again, at least for this model. Uh, hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Leave comments in the comment section. Let me know what you want to comment about. Also links down there to my store where you can buy shirts and mugs, pint glasses. Also have some new winter gear down there. So check it out right now. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time. Yay, it works just like it did before. Sweet. Okay, I have one more complaint about this case. Fractal, if you're listening, make the LED white, please. White LED. Got nothing against blue, but white just matches a lot better.